it is his debut on the big screen. Say hello, little peanut. Um, yeah, this is the newest member of the family. He is the most precious creature on the planet. So you will be seeing a heck of a lot more of him in the very near future. But for now, we are going to move on to the actual video that I planned on filming today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the first video in a series that I'm doing on my channel here in October, and it is going to be basically everything surrounding fall. So if you guys are a lover of Halloween and this season as much as I am, you are going to absolutely love this series. So don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Also, this video in particular is going to be in partnership with one of my favorite, favorite YouTubers of all time. I have been watching my friend Melanie here on YouTube for years and years. She actually is the reason why I am so candle crazy and home fragrance crazy. Melanie is one of the most well-rounded channels. She's very calming. Her voice is soothing. She has everything from reviews to candles to home decor, beauty, makeup, hair, all of it. She's very thorough with her reviews and she is very honest, which I really appreciate. I'm going to link Melanie's information down below in the description box. Definitely go check her out and give her some love. I promise you, you guys are going to be addicted to her channel as much as I am. So I'm sure you guys would like to see what is going on in front of me. So let me go into what this video is about. This video, Melanie and I have come together to bring you our top 10 fall fragrances for our home. This first scent is the scent that if I could only have one fragrance for the rest of my life, it would be this one. This is by Scentsy. It is in the scent Sweet Plum Pastry. You guys may have heard me talk about this before. This scent to me is everything. I will actually link my Scentsy consultant down in the description box as well. Her name is Lisa Roberry. She has a YouTube channel also. Um, you can find out more information about any of the Scentsy stuff that I talk about or whatever from her. So this is, like I said, Sweet Plum Pastry. This scent is super gourmand. It is not overly sweet where it's going to give you a headache. It is more of a mild sweetness. It's got a fantastic throw on it. Its lasting power is fantastic. Very good strength on it. You can just smell that flaky, buttery crust and then that really, really beautiful fruity plum. And it's got like a hint of vanilla in there too. Oh, it's just perfection. If you guys are into gourmand scents, you need to get your hands on this. I love candles, but I'm very particular about my brands. If I have a brand that I absolutely love for their candles, I really tend to stick with them. I don't like to experiment too far with candles because I know what I love. So that being said, I do have multiples from the same brand, but they're incredible or else I wouldn't have multiples of the same brand. All right, all right. The first candle I'm going to talk about is by Homeworks. Homeworks is a candle company owned by Harry Slatkin and they are exclusively available on QVC. So this scent does come in a set of two on QVC's website. I will link all of these candles and wax melts if I can find them down below so you guys can access direct links to them. This is in the scent Cranberry Pumpkin Cake. Um, the scent itself, I'll give you the notes that Harry says, they are Cranberry, pumpkin, nutmeg, and ginger. Now, I don't get any ginger out of this whatsoever. I get a nuttiness to this, almost like, you know, a chopped almond or like a walnut, some kind of nutty quality in this. It's just the perfect, well-rounded scent. Like I said, it smells like a bunt cake with cranberry and pumpkin. It's beautiful, you guys. And the packaging of Harry's candles are so stunning. Almost going into a full blown review of this thing. Uh, so yes, this candle is the perfect amount of fall and bakery together. During the fall season, if I am not drinking my pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, I am drinking hot apple cider because I am just obsessed with apple cider everything. So why wouldn't I have a wax melt? This is by Scentsy and this is in the scent Cider Mill. Oh my God, it's an absolute winner in my book. This has every little bit of the essence of apples and nutmeg and clove and all of those fall mulling spices in this wax melt. Not to mention the strength on this thing is insane. Again, not headache inducing or cloying, but I'm telling you right now, I love melting this in my entryway because every time my neighbors come over or my friends come over to visit, they walk in the house and they literally will stop in the entry and just go, what is that smell? <laughs> because it's just beautiful. It embodies everything to do with fall. So if you guys have not tried cider mill and you are fans of apple cider, I'm telling you right now, stock up because you are not going to want to ever stop melting this. Sticking on the apple cider subject, we are actually going to talk about another one of Homeworks candles. This particular candle comes in a set of two. I am actually going to talk about the sister candle to this next. This one right here is in the scent crisp apple cider. 
The notes in here say tart Granny Smith apple, juicy gala apple, spiced bourbon, clove, and nutmeg. And you get the tartness on the top from that uh, Granny Smith apple, but then you get more of like a well-rounded apple scent from the gala. You definitely get the nutmeg spice. It's not overly spicy. This is definitely more heavy on the apple side, but again, it's a very authentic apple scent. So I would say between this and the Cider Mill Wax Melt, if you love the scent of mulling spices, I would go with this one. If you like more of that true apple fall apple, the real apple scent, I would definitely, definitely check this out, you guys. So this particular candle in that apple cider scent does come with a sister candle, and its sister candle is this one, again, in that beautiful, beautiful deep brown packaging. This one is in the scent Country Apple Butter. You guys, and no, I'm not sponsored by Harry Slatkin. Trust me, it would mean the world to me if I was because I love his products. If you're fans of like almond cream or pistachio cream or even like the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream by Sol de Janeiro, that style of scent, fragrance, this is that. It is very sweet. Again, not to the point of being overpowering, but this one is probably one of the sweetest candles that I have from Harry. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's buttery, it's smooth, it is really sweet and just delicious. So this is a wax melt by Better Homes and Gardens. Now a lot of Better Homes and Gardens scents for me completely miss the mark because they smell either too artificial, they're not good on the throw, or they're not very strong. You know what I mean? But this particular one is like, it's just the perfect fall scent. This is in the scent Farm Apple Pumpkin. Now, Better Homes and Gardens don't list their scent notes on their packaging whatsoever, so I kind of have to just give you what I smell in this. I do pick up a lot of apple, which again, it's a very authentic apple, and I love that. This is not a bakery scent. This is actually more of a fresh, like, orchard apple scent. I pick up a little bit of fall spices in there. I do pick up some of the pumpkin. This ha this is in the realm of an apple cider note, um, but it's not anything like the apple cider in here or in the candle. These are available at Walmart and they are only $2, which I love. So we're gonna take a little step away from Homeworks for just a moment and talk about another candle. Now this one's a little bit odd. Um, I don't know for sure if it's available right now. I believe it is, but I could be wrong. This is actually by the brand Fragrant Jewels. So this was a candle that was released around Halloween and I mean, can we talk about the packaging of this candle? It's sheer perfection. And the label on it is just gorgeous, you guys. The aesthetic of this candle around Halloween is mm, it's so good. But the scent of this is phenomenal. So this one's in the scent Wicked, and it's a coconut wax blend, so it's more of a stiff wax, not like Harry Slatkin's um, wax. The Homeworks wax is very soft, very like malleable and pliable. This is a stiffer wax. This is more along the lines of a like potpourri, but not like old lady potpourri, if that makes sense. It's more of a modern potpourri. It does have a little bit of a perfumey note to it, but it also has a very woody, kind of almost along the lines of like Bath and Body Works Marshmallow Fireside without the marshmallow. <laughs> um, if you take the sweetness out of that candle, it's kind of similar. Add in just a touch of that potpourri type scent and that's kind of what you get here. For some reason when I smell it, it just brings in like that spooky sensation, that that scent memory of going out when it was really dark out, you know, fog rolling through in our costumes, going trick-or-treating. It really brings apart about that spookiness of the season for me. So this candle I do burn obviously around Halloween and I love it. And the very last wax melt I have to talk about is Yankee and this one is in the scent Beautiful Fall Pumpkins. I love the packaging on these two. I think they're very, very like rustic and homey and I really enjoy it. Um, this particular pumpkin scent is a little bit different than all of the other ones that I've mentioned so far. This one is really, it's heavy on the spices but not in a overpowering way. This reminds me a lot of like if you smell straight mulling spices. So it's a medley of different spices, like I smell nutmeg, I smell clove, I smell cinnamon, cinnamon sticks, never red hots. Um, it smells like I am literally have my face inside a mulling spice bowl or cup or container or whatever. I really, really like it. Um, you do get a hint of pumpkin in there, but it's not as strong as other pumpkin scents. I do smell a lot of cinnamon. So if you are opposed to cinnamon sticks, this might not be for you, but if you're like me and you love the scent of fresh 
just warming cinnamon sticks. This is a really, really nice one. So two more candles and then we are donezo. So I'm going to talk about a Bath & Body Works candle and then I'm going to finish off with one more of the Homeworks candles. So this one is a candle from Bath & Body. I already said that, Shay. Uh, and this one's in the scent Fireside. Now I will say, Fireside is not your traditional fall scent. Usually I think of Fireside as being more of a summer scent because it smells like a bonfire. It literally smells like a bonfire. Um, Bath & Body Works says the notes are smoked cedar, clove buds, and warm rich embers. And I do not smell clove, period at all whatsoever. This doesn't have any sense of spice to it. This literally smells like a cabin in the woods with a bonfire with a hint of cologne. And I know it sounds a little weird. I'm really into masculine scents, especially in the fall and winter time. I don't know what it is, but I prefer masculine scents over like floral and perfumey scents. I always think about fall as being cuddled up in front of a fireplace with a mug of warm apple cider. So I I really associate smokier scents like this with fall, not so much summer, if that makes sense. And the last candle that I've talked about is another Homeworks candle. This is actually my seven-year-old son's favorite candle that I have in the house. He begs me constantly just to take it off of my shelf, filled with all of my 20 plus Homeworks candles, so he can just smell the cap. He loves to just walk around and smell it. He loves the scent. So this is the scent Pumpkin Gingerbread. Now, Again, ginger is one of those things that I feel that not a lot of people are into, but some people are crazy about it. I will say, however, for being a ginger type scent, this is a safe one to go with. Um, it's not super harsh, like sharp ginger. It's definitely there. It is the equivalent of like pumpkin bread and a ginger snap had a love child. That's this. I feel like this is going to be the safest gingerbread scent. It reminds me a lot of like a pumpkin Cinnabon in a way with a hint of that gingerbread. It's beautiful. So the notes that Harry says are pumpkin, gingerbread, brown sugar, nutmeg, and hazelnut. And I will say that is exactly every little bit of it. I smell every note individually. I do actually have multiples of every single candle that I have mentioned here and wax melts. These are all doubles because I love them that much. So I have, although these are all brand new, I do have ones that are burned and I have smelled them on warming because I wanted to test them out and see if the scent notes changed from cold sniff to, you know, melting. That being said, this one does not change between cold sniff and melting from what I found. So everything you smell in this, it's there when you melt it. It's just... Again, the packaging is just so harvest and Thanksgiving and beautiful. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous candle. This one does have a sister candle that I did not mention today. It is, I think it's called Glazed Gingerbread. That one is very much a ginger snap kind of scent. It is a straight ginger snap, gingerbread. There is no other notes in it. I personally love it because I love the scent of gingerbread, but that, the sister candles to this, might not be everyone's cup of tea. But if you love ginger, this set is fantastic. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me during this video. Definitely go check Melanie's channel out down below and subscribe. I promise you guys, if you are into candles, she is the channel for you. Absolutely 100%. Her reviews are just so perfect. And her, her sense of smell and the way that she picks up notes from candles and the way she describes them, it's almost like you can smell them while you're watching her reviews. And I can tell you right now, every single thing that she has recommended to me that I have personally gone out and purchased, everything that I've smelled from her has been spot on to what she described in her reviews. It's fantastic. So definitely go check her out, subscribe, give her a thumbs up, send her love. Also, if you guys have come over from Melanie's channel, I thank you so much for joining me and I hope you decide to stick around for a while. Let me know down below in the comments also what your favorite fall scent is. I'm so interested to hear what you guys are warming or burning right now in this transition from summer to fall because I love to find new scent profiles to check out for myself. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you guys all on my next video. Bye guys.